I just remember not really feeling anything. I was genuinely convinced that I was a psychopath. That is not a fun feeling. I started this video like 10 times, but it's really difficult. I don't really know how to start. So, so I guess I'll just start from the beginning. My name is Gita. I am 18 years old. I just recently graduated from high school. I live in Maui, Hawaii, but I was born in Seattle, Washington. I identify as non-binary, gender queer, transmasculine. I'll explain what all those labels mean to me later. So I've decided to start making these videos for a number of reasons. Firstly, for documentation and representation purposes. As a non-binary individual, it took me a while to realize and come upon this identity. I feel like because of lack of representation and because of the lack of queer voices and experience that are available, for consumption online or just in the media in general, which made my journey to realizing who I am a lot more difficult. Um, so, firstly, representation. I feel like there is an enormous lack of representation of genderqueer stories and, and I feel like if I start this video documentation of myself and my experiences and and hopefully my transition in the future, even if that helps one person realize a little bit more about themselves or feel a little bit less alone, then that's worth me making these video documentations. And I've decided to call them video documentations because the second reason of kind of why I'm doing this, I, I want to document my process and my transition in the future and, and document how I'm feeling in my mindset right now. Because there is such a lack of representation and lack of mainstream queer stories or any queer stories, especially non-binary stories, I feel like if I can add to the very little collection of video documentation uh, of non-binary individuals, then that might make the non-binary label and a little bit more valid because what I've realized is that even though our world is a lot better for queer people than it has ever been, there is still a lot of misunderstanding and queer people feeling not valid because a lot of queer identities, especially on the gender spectrum, are still very misunderstood and, and because it is such still a like new thing that has really begun to be talked about in, even in the last decade. But I feel like if my video documentation can help a few more people understand the genderqueer non-binary spectrum or the genderqueer label, then that is enough reason to continue making videos like this and, and to document my story. Non-binary to me means that your gender identity falls somewhere in between or not on the formally believed binary gender spectrum of male, female, or woman and man. That's what non-binary means to me. And genderqueer is essentially synonymous with that. So genderqueer means that you are definitely somewhere along that spectrum. There's better definitions online. That's kind of what I mean when I say genderqueer and, and non-binary. I have recently began calling myself transmasculine as a gender identity because that's what's best describes uh, what I am feeling at the moment because currently don't feel like I could be a trans man. I feel fully non-binary. I feel like there's a lot that I still need to realize even though I'm making these video documentations. Just because I'm making these video documentations doesn't mean, I want to clarify, doesn't mean that I know everything about being non-binary or non-binary individuals or queerness in general. I am in no way a formal gender spectrum educator. I am just trying to share my experience in hopes that it'll help 
someone else who might be feeling the same way or, or help other people understand what non-binary individuals might be going through. So I guess the best way to explain how I came upon the label of transmasculine for myself is to explain my full journey into queerness. Growing up, I was always the traditional tomboy. I always wanted short hair, I always wore boy clothes, I was obsessed with Spider-Man. I was really, really lucky that my parents let me experiment with my gender presentation from a really young age. Looking back, as many queer people will say, you'll have to kind of recategorize all the experiences that have ever happened to you. Looking back, I can kind of do that with all of my experiences that I can now identify as me trying to question my gender. When I was going into grade school for the first time, I was going into first grade and I really wanted to get my hair cut off before I went to school. My mom, she goes, don't you want to have long hair like all the other girls in first grade? No! And I cut off all my hair. And I had really short hair going into first grade and I remember all the kids would always ask me, are you a boy or a girl? My mom wanted to get my ears pierced, so in first grade I also got my ears pierced me, so I would have earrings and kids would go, you're a girl because you have earrings, but you're a boy because you have short hair. And that's when I remember first questioning my gender identity. These kids would ask me these questions. And I would always say girl, but I remember that not really feeling right to me also. I never really identified with the label of girl, even from a young age. It always made me kind of uncomfortable. Into sixth grade, I began to feel pressured to dress more femininely and act more femininely because all the other girls were kissing boys and and trying to impress boys with how they looked and acted and, and I felt obligated to do that too, even though I was never interested in it. It made me feel super dysphoric is the feeling I can identify it as now. As I dressed more femininely, my mental health began to deteriorate. Um, I just remember not really feeling anything in like seventh and eighth grade because I was trying to suppress the emotions at the core of my being that I was feeling so hard because I knew, I've always known what I was and that I was queer. I mean, even if it was super subconscious, but I mean, I've always known no emotions anymore and I was genuinely convinced that I was a psychopath. That is not a fun feeling. I feel like that you are going insane. So anyway, I was pretty messed up by the time I got into high school. And so I go into high school like dressing really femininely and believing that I'm super straight and just a cis girl. I tried to blend in. It made me feel really uncomfortable every single day, but I just suppressed that feeling. In high school, I also started to have crushes on girls. Now that I knew I had crushes on girls, I would stay up late at night watching like lesbian YouTube videos and stuff. But through all of this, I had never told anyone what I was feeling. And, and, and so I was going into sophomore year and I knew now that I was most likely gay. I kept really calling myself that in my head, like gay, not like a lesbian. Um, for some reason, I just never really liked the label lesbian for myself, and I've come to realize now, later, it's because I never really identified myself as a female. Which is something that also started me on a whole other journey of, like, confusion. <sighs> I'm sorry if this is a really long video. There's just a lot that I needed to get out in this intro. So another thing that was really bothering me and has been bothering me for a while ever since I realized that I was queer is that I haven't come out to my parents even though I share almost everything with my parents. They're really amazing and accepting people who I know will love me regardless but I hadn't come out as like a lesbian to them. Like I know that I definitely like girls. Why can't I just, wow like I'm getting short of breath even just talking about 
this what I've realized this year since shaving my head since trying to like understand uh, and start questioning my gender as well is that it might have been because I knew that then they would think of me as a lesbian if I told them that I liked girls and because they still think of me as a cis woman um, So I was questioning that and I'm like, well, maybe that's why I haven't come out to them, but does that mean that I am not a girl? I had never really questioned my gender before, maybe because I was already like, wow, I just had to go through the whole process of coming out to myself as gay. Like, I don't want to do that again because it's been an exhausting and traumatizing experience to come out as queer to yourself in the world that doesn't accept you sometimes as that. So then I was started questioning my gender. And I started watching videos of top sh surgeries and uh, FTM, female to male trans men. I was like, why am I watching these? Like, I'm not a trans man, I don't think. Why do I continuously watch these top surgery videos? Why do I continuously watch these videos on dysphoria, why am I like jealous of Miles Chronicles for coming out as a trans man? Like why am I why am I jealous of that? Maybe I'm just really confused because I feel really alone and I'm isolated here on Maui. And so these are all the things that I was thinking as I was trying to figure out why I might be questioning my gender. And then maybe Two months ago, I came upon this YouTuber named Chella Man. Chella made a video documentation series of, of his transition timeline, and I would just watch his videos every night over and over and over again because Chella identifies as a genderqueer, non-binary human who is taking testosterone and has had top surgery. I related to this more than I've ever related to anything in my entire life. My heart is like fucking racing. My hands are shaking. I was really confused and I was like, oh no, like I think, I think I might not be a girl. I kind of got depressed again because now I could actually identify the feelings I was feeling in my body and in my mind as as dysphoria and now I could identify these feelings that I was having as dysphoric feelings it really overwhelmed me now I was starting to realize that maybe I was non-binary and that I did like being seen as really masculine even though I didn't want to be a man that was also a point of conflict for me because I was like, okay, I'm trans maybe, but do I want to be a trans man or am I just non-binary? And maybe I'll make a video on that later, how I figured out that distinction. As you can see, it's a really recent realization that I've had that I am non-binary, but because I am 18 and because I'm going off to college soon and I'll be more free to be me and because I have already accepted myself as a queer person throughout high school and I've been through that entire process that that realizing that I was non-binary wasn't as jolting as realizing that I was just queer in general. After seeing Chella's videos and seeing his body transition on testosterone and seeing him get top surgery, it's made me realize that that might be something that I would want to consider as well and that's why I started making these videos right now because in the past few days I've realized that I think I definitely want to consider getting top surgery and I want to start going to a gender therapist and I want to start thinking about potentially getting a hormone therapy I have a lot of thoughts on that and I'll probably make a later video on the options for non-binary individuals in my situation. 
when considering hormone therapy. As of right now, my biggest concern is trying to come out to my friends and family as non-binary. Um, and that's also kind of why I wanted to start documenting this before I told anyone. I'll make some videos on how it goes after I tell everyone. Maybe I'll even try recording coming out to my parents, even though that sounds like a lot to me right now. I feel like that would be a really valuable thing to document and have for people to use as a reference point in their process because something that's been really confusing for me is trying to figure out how I would come out as non-binary and how I would come out as non-binary not only to my parents and my close friends but also to the world and uh, if I want to start considering using they them or he him pronouns. I think I would prefer I honestly don't know. I think I would prefer they them pronouns. I don't really know how I would go about telling people that I want to start being referred to using they them pronouns. This video I just wanted to really talk about my journey in realizing my queer identity my sexuality, my gender identity, and kind of explain why I'm going to start making these video documentations. Hopefully making these video documentations will also help me better understand myself and what I feel and what I want for myself in the future. Maybe that'll help other people. What I want to leave people with is the fact that it is okay to be confused about your gender identity it is okay to experiment with your gender identity it is okay to experiment with your gender presentation that there is no wrong way to be you i hope i can continue doing these video documentations and i hope that that they can help people so with that i love you you are valid i hope you have a good day And I hope to continue making these videos.